Well, a very good afternoon to you. Thanks for clicking on to today's edition of Vogan's Views on Europe. We've seen a wild pattern, a wild up and down pattern across the continent. Today, you're looking out at the clouds scooting across the top of the Capsie Fells. Blue sky above, but it's a pretty cool wind blowing out of the east today across Scotland. Certainly not spring or summer-like conditions here. While at the same time here, while we're seeing torrents of rain, flooding rains, in fact, within an area that's seeing drought and hosepipe bands, we're seeing over in the east and central parts of Europe record-breaking warmth in stark contrast. We're seeing temperatures around 30 Celsius anywhere from Germany through Poland into Russia and folks in Moscow, you set a new benchmark for the month of April, 28.6 Celsius, that's 84 in Fahrenheit during the day yesterday. So remarkable warmth across Moscow. Stark contrast to just eight weeks ago where you were suffering snowfall and record-breaking cold. And uh, we're certainly going to be seeing some uh, changes in the overall pattern across the continent in the next 24 to 48 hours. We're seeing that area of low pressure that uh, brought all the wild weather across the UK over the weekend. Now starting to work its way southwards into the trough. I've got friends uh, that's flying out to Lanzarote today. And them folks are going to be met by unsettled conditions, cooler conditions. While you would expect to see at this time of year... Azores high pressure dominance, clear sunny skies, temperatures well into the 20s. That is not going to be the case there over the next 24 hours. Let's have a quick look at the uh, surface chart of the GFS. You can see what's, the, what, what's happening here in the atmosphere. There's the area of low pressure. That's the troublemaker. Of course, it was that system that had a, a front attached to it, draped all the way down through Algeria, Mali, off the coast and out over the, the Cape Verde Islands. A tremendous length and plume of moisture that flowed all the way up from the subtropics into England. And of course, with the rich high pressure sitting over the northern half of the UK, not only did that set up a steep uh, pressure gradient, which of course produced tremendous northeasterly winds, but it also acted like a wall that stopped all that flow, all that piling up a moisture that was flowing very powerfully up from the subtropics. That, of course, wrapped around the centre and dumped the tremendous amounts of flood and rainfall across uh, parts of so southern southwestern England into South Wales as well. And, of course, that extended into Ireland as well. Overnight, we've seen some of that rain uh, in a more weakened fashion work its way up through Scotland. But this area of low pressure, folks, is not heading east or, or north. It's actually pushing southwestwards. Why is that the case? Well, we've actually got a building area of high pressure over Scotland. So over the next 18 hours, what you're going to be seeing here, this is 24 hours, look at what's happening over the British, Isle, British Isles. We're seeing the heights build over the UK. And what that's doing is it's forcing the low southwestwards. So our friends down across the Canary Islands, that's what's going to be taking place. You've got this trough digging all the way through the Azores, the Canaries. That's pushing that cooler air all the way southwestwards. In the meantime, we're seeing more spring-like conditions. After the heavy rains that are going to be working through the south of England tonight, after that, by Wednesday into Thursday, we're going to be talking about a window of calm, settled conditions. Temperatures widely 16 to 19 Celsius. So a brief respite, a chance to dry out after the big rains over the up the, the past weekend. Skipping ahead to 48 hours, you can see this big area of low pressure spinning away off Iberia, down through the Canary Islands. And high pressure remains dominant, firmly established over Ireland, the UK, and through much of Europe. But th this pattern, folks, is changing. We're going to be starting to see an area of low pressure here. A cool low spreading snows down through Scandinavia. Much chillier conditions across parts of Moscow. And this, all these cooler conditions are going to start to work their way through Europe over the next 72 hours. Let's skip away through the 72 hours. Look at the changes taking place here. High pressure remains over Scotland, Ireland, but look at the lower heights over the same areas that were experiencing the heat. Germany, Poland, Russia, 
down through uh, the alpine regions we've seen temperatures even across northern parts of the lowland austria as high as 90 fahrenheit that's 30 32 celsius folks remarkable warmth over the weekend we've seen berlin warsaw both at 86 celsius or 86 fahrenheit should i say that's 30 celsius those temperatures, folks, would be considered pretty warm even in the middle of summer, never mind the end of April. But that warmth is waning. It's going to be changing. We're going to be seeing much cooler conditions come in off the Atlantic as we see that trough work its way southwards. Skipping ahead to 84 hours, look at what's taking place. That low is still there. It's not going anywhere. But heights are starting to lower over the UK and Ireland. Notice this area of low pressure. A couple of days ago, it was up across the northern parts of Scandinavia. It's now across southern parts of Scandinavia. Where is it in 90 hours? It's now working its way further south. Heights are starting to lower all the more across Europe. Let's have a quick look at the upper level chart of the ECMWF. This is the current chart. There's the upper level low over southwestern parts of the UK. As you work through Tuesday in the Wednesday, look at what's happening. That low scooting off to the southwest, meeting the subtropics, still warm conditions over central and eastern parts of Europe. But that tongue of warmth, as that low works its way southwest, opens the door for high pressure, warmer conditions over the UK and Ireland. Wednesday and the Thursday, you notice here that the yellow showing up over the British Isles, much more settled calmer, sunnier, brighter weather and, and that those temperatures respond accordingly. Heights are going to start to lower. There's the trough. Colder conditions working its way down through Scandinavia. The UK, we need to watch that trough because that's going to work its way south and bring much cooler conditions by the weekend. By Friday, there's the trough. It's starting to work its way. It's starting to tease the northern part of Scotland. By Friday into Saturday, you notice the heights lowering across Europe. Much cooler conditions working its way into the UK and Ireland. And uh, we're going to be starting to see central parts of Europe return to more normal weather for this time of year. It certainly isn't going to be cold over Germany, Poland and Russia. But it certainly is not going to be as warm as it has been. Sunday, there's the trough. Much cooler northerly air flow over the British Isles and Ireland. That's going to introduce snow over the Grampians, the Highlands, perhaps even the North Pennines. Well, that's maybe a wee bit, a wee bit uh, passionate, but we'll wait and see what takes place there. Look at the difference here across Europe. So look at the difference here. If I skip right back by uh, to today, there's that powerful high-pressure system, the trough over Western Europe. Skip back, you can see the difference in the overall pattern. Gone is that high-pressure ridge. Gone is those record breaking temperatures. There's a lot of weather to talk about. Much cooler conditions over the upcoming weekend. But bear with me folks. That rain is going to be heavy, thundery, torrential over the south of England tonight. That will work northwards, weakening as it does so. And by Wednesday and Thursday, much more settled conditions over the British Isles. Friday and into the weekend, we're going to be looking at that northern horizon. Those winds are going to kick in out of the north, introducing much cooler conditions. Hope you have a great day and stay safe wherever you are today. Bye for now.